a couple things about guides, Akashic Records, Cosmic Council. I, I had some things come up today that I want to put here. So for those of you who don't know, Cosmic Council is my class on guides. It's all things spirit guides, working with different deities, gods, goddesses, historical figures, ascended masters. It's a lot. There's a lot to it. So the Cosmic Council, we just straight up work with guides for three weeks. That's all we do is we work with a bunch of different guides. And so I was shopping for the last two guides that wanted to drop in. One guide has been pinging me for a while and I was really resistant to putting this particular guide on the lineup, but I'm going to. I finalized it today. And as I was shopping, I realized how much the geography and history and mythology impact your relationship to the information that you receive. And so the way that I ran Cosmic Council last time was I front loaded the class with a whole bunch of information on Akashic Records, but we did that on class one. So we went in depth on all of the technical stuff and then the rest of it was practice, except there was, I think it was week four that we talked about some other technical stuff with like angels, animals, ancestors, stuff like that. So this time I'm doing it differently. So when we go through shopping, we're going to look at different geographical locations and different periods of history and then looking at the specialties of the guides and just how they vary across cultures and in different areas and there's there's so much that I was finding today so I'm really excited to weave in more of the mythology and I swear to you I could do a cosmic council just with Greek mythology straight up I could just focus on that and fill up an entire class because there's so much. So anyway, the reason why this is important is because you can think about, I'm going to refer to seven deadly shadows again, when I talk about there's an experience that humanity has and it creates like a, a passport stamp in the timeline and guides are exactly the same. So it also has to do with the overlap of the geography, the religious beliefs, right? The practices, the what was the climate within history at that point in time? What was going on? And all of these things overlap into this particular flavor, this particular frequency of a guide. So anyway, I'm just letting you know if you are interested in a cosmic council, I've decided to add more history, more mythology, more storytelling, more understanding for you so that you can have more clarity around who you're working with and what they're going to be able to offer you rather than feeling blind, if you will. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you enjoy Check out Cosmic Council if you're interested, and I will be sharing more about the guides soon.